the Israeli government sees me as an existential threat to their settler colonialist racist apartheid regime. And they've done everything that they can think of to discredit me and try and destroy my career and if possible destroy me and my family. Am I going to keep attacking the state of Israel and its policies in the West Bank and in Gaza? Yes, I am. And I will until the day I die. Or they modify their position to give human rights to the indigenous people of all the lands between the Jordan River and the sea. It's really simple. This whole story for me didn't start till 2006 when I went to Palestine. I saw apartheid in action, even if it was just the roads. Wow, this is weird, you know, as well, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's for Jews only, don't be daft. Yeah, it is. You can't go on this road if you're not a Jew. You're kidding. No, I'm not. F the guards are all the crossings and placings you have to go to. And even me, there I am with my British passport, because we were in UN vehicles, we were treated like they didn't quite spit on us. But then I thought, Mom, if they treat me like this, imagine how they treat the Palestinians. And I saw them. And it's inconscionable the way they treat. And they kill them. They just openly kill them. They shoot them all the time, dead. And they bomb them, dead. And so I've been doing everything that I possibly can to expose that bit. And I will continue to do so. And I will hope eventually to open the eyes of ordinary people in England and in North America to the evils of the apartheid state of Israel. When I see the army of thugs with their blue and white flags storming through the old city of Jerusalem on Flag Day, beating up any Palestinian who dares to be in their own street, shouting, kill the Arabs, kill the Arabs, kill the Arabs, as they march through the street with their Israeli flags. And nobody's going, oh, you can't say that. That's a hate crime. And it really is a hate crime. But there's nobody saying that. The police are there egging them on. So cancel culture is trying to get you to believe that in some weird way, my defense of the people of Palestine is more violent than the young thugs kicking Palestinians to death, or the IDF soldiers shooting them through the heart with their sniper rifles, like they did on the Great March of Return to that young Palestinian medic. <laughs>